it's Jen welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan today is Sunday and I am here at Walmart it is the last week of February that means that it is the last week in my pantry and freezer challenge where I am spending $50 a week on groceries so uh, hopefully when I get home I can show you how our freezer stock has reduced I'm super happy about that the primary reason for me doing this challenge was to go through some of my freezer items um, the budgeting thing was just kind of a nice side effect I guess um, and so I'm happy that we were able to do this and I will continue to use items from my freezer to plan my meals going forward so I'm gonna run into Walmart get what I need for this week and when I get home I will show you what I got all right, so here's everything that I got for groceries. I did go over my $50. I think I spent about 68, but we are having people over today, plus I got some beer, so I'm fine with that. Um, like I said, the main purpose of me doing this challenge was to use up things in my freezer and pantry, not so much about saving a ton of money, but I did save money. So um, I got some strawberries. I'm gonna make some fruit salad today. We are having um, a barbecue, actually Adam, smoked a pork butt last night two two pork butts actually and we're having friends over this afternoon so i'm gonna make some fruit salad as a side for that uh, we were totally out of apples so i got a bag of fuji apples these were actually the cheapest this week at walmart so that's what i got i grabbed some bananas uh, a pineapple this one looked pretty good actually so i'll cut that up for the fruit salad i was all out of half and half for my coffee um ketchup I always buy Heinz ketchup, never any other brand for sure. And then at Hy-Vee, I got some kombucha. This is my favorite flavor. It's the ginger berry. Um, some of the flavors I can't tolerate. They're like too sour for me. But this one I like a lot. So if you, if you haven't liked kombucha, um, try that one, that flavor instead. I grabbed an avocado for some um, chicken rice burrito bowls later this week. I got some um, whole milk greek yogurt this is from walmart it is the great value brand i grabbed some milk some chocolate milk for the kids and some uh, regular two percent milk for cooking and cereal uh, we were all out of sour cream so i grabbed some of that and then hy had their cheese on sale two dollars each for an eight ounce block so i got one uh, block of colby jack that's connor's favorite kind a block of medium cheddar just for snacking and recipes and then today I'm going to make some Reuben dip for um, our get together. So I needed Swiss cheese for that. I grabbed some black olives, some mandarin oranges for the fruit salad. And then also for the Reuben dip, I like to have these Triscuits with them, the rye ones. They're kind of hard to find. I have to find them at Hy-Vee, um, but they're really good with that. And then I also got just some cheap Thousand Island dressing for that also. I grabbed some of the Great Value Pringles. These are the sour cream and onion kind. A few energy drinks for Adam, the Bang energy drinks. I got him a Sour Heads and a Blue Raz. Uh, I decided to try this kind of salsa, the Herdez uh, mild salsa. We were all out of salsa for our tortilla chips. I grabbed some butter. Um, I did go ahead and get unsalted this time. And then some cream cheese. This is also for the Reuben dip. I can't remember whether or not I said shredded cheese, but we are going to have some burrito bowls this week, so that will be for that. Um, I got some French onion dip for our chips today. A cucumber for salads. I always like to get the English cucumbers because they are uh, the, the skin is thinner and they aren't as waxy on the outside. We were running low on American cheese, and I always like... I've been liking to get this great value white American deluxe cheese. I think it tastes a lot better than the Kraft Singles. Um, and then from Hy-Vee, I did get some feta cheese for some salads this week for myself. I got the corned beef for uh, the Reuben dip. I always like to get it freshly sliced from um, the deli. If you can't find that, you could probably use the budded corned beef, but it won't be as good. Um, I'll link that recipe down below and then I got some cinnamon applesauce um, this will be just for the kids to take in their lunches this week um, Kira asked me about pop tarts this morning I said I haven't bought pop tarts in probably a year or more but I did buy some pop tarts <laughs> just a small box the strawberry kind and then for today Adam likes this suddenly salad the ranch and bacon brand so I'm gonna make that uh, I also got these to put out for today, these eel fudge. These remind me of being a kid. They're delicious, and this was an impulse purchase from me. 
Uh, I got some wheat thins for the Reuben dip also, and then cheese it grooves. Kira was asking me about these also, and we had them a couple summers ago, and I just never bought them again, so I went ahead and picked those up. I got some chips for today, some Cheetos puffs, and some uh, just plain wavy chips from Walmart for the French onion dip, some buns for the pulled pork. Uh, I also, they had a, this is kind of an impulse buy too, they had this display of saltwater taffy at hy and all these different flavors, so I thought that would be fun to try. So I grabbed um, kind of a mix of all different kinds of flavors. That was around $3. And then this was the beer that Adam wanted. It's from Single Speed, I think. Um, it is uh, Tuhu. It's supposed to taste like a Tootsie Pop. I think we've had it before, but I can't remember. Um, but I think it's pretty good. And then I also got some Capri Suns for the kids to have for uh, lunches this week. Okay, so that's all I got for food. Let me show you the non-food items. Okay, so for non-food, I did get some um, Cottonell wipes. Both this and the toilet paper are on the Fetch Reward app right now, and you get points back. If you guys haven't tried Fetch Rewards, I'll link the app down below. There is no catch. You don't have to put in your debit card. You literally just scan your receipt, and it gives you points back, which you can then cash out for gift cards. It's super easy. It's even easier than Ibotta, and I've been enjoying using it more lately, so try that out if you haven't yet. Um, I got these ball jars. Um, I needed some more of this kind of medium size, and this was also on an Ibotta rebate. Um, if you haven't tried Ibotta, I'll also link that down below, but I think these are around $6.50, and they were $2 off on the Ibotta app. And then I've been looking for a replacement for my Pantene dry shampoo. It's been hard to find. I don't know if they sell the kind that I have anymore, um, but I saw this. It's Pantene Pro-V Never Tell Dry Shampoo, so I figured I would give this a try. Let me know if you've tried it and if you like it. Uh, I got some bones for Murphy. I already gave him one. And then I've been kind of looking for neat plates to use in my food photography and videos. So this one is actually like a plastic plate, but I just like the color of it. I thought it was um, a neat color, and I don't have any dishes this color. It was like, it was literally like 50 cents. So I'll probably just use that for like food photography. Um, okay, so they had these plastic canning jar lids, and I don't think I've ever had any of these before, but I use mason jars for a lot of things, and so I thought these would be good to have on hand. Um, so we'll try those out. I needed some more moisturizer, so I ended up getting the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Renewal Day Night Cream. Um, I can't remember exactly how much this was, but it was, it was less than $10. It was fairly inexpensive. And then I needed some more candles for um, the downstairs here, so I got the Glade Cashmere Woods. Um, this is a twin pack, it was five bucks. I also grabbed some napkins to use, like for food photography and videos. These were on sale there, the Pioneer Woman um, cloth napkins. I got some foam plates for today, a nail brush. Um, I had one of these before and I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it got thrown away or what, but this is around $3 um, at Walmart in the beauty section, so I grabbed that. And then I got Connor a shirt for St. Patrick's Day. He always wants to make sure he wears green so he doesn't get pinched. And they actually had a, a really cute one that had a cat like dabbing on the front, and I can't remember what it said, but they didn't have it in his size. So I ended up having to get this one. It says, bring on the shenanigans, but I thought that was cute. Um, and then I already talked about the toilet paper, so let me show you the freezer. Okay, so if you guys remember when I started this challenge, my fridge was, or am I sorry, my freezer was full clear up to the top. Like it had this much food in it. And now you can see, look, I can stick my arm <laughs> way down in here. So while I would say that we maybe could have done better, um, I am happy with how this turned out. There is so much more room in here now. These two loaves of bread, actually, I just bought last week. Um, but we ate down a lot of food that was in here, so I'm super happy about that. Um, like I said, the primary reason for me to do this was to eat down some of the food in here and waste less. Um, so yeah, if you didn't see that first video that I did the inventory, I'll link that down below. But now let me share with you the meal plan for this week. Okay, so I'm gonna share the meal plan for this week with you guys. And also I wanted to 
mention my uh, meal planners in case anyone new is watching this. But this is a Carrie L meal planner is what I use. And actually, this is my third one. You can see I have them all here to show you guys. They have a mini meal planner, which is the size I use now, and then a larger one, um, which is obviously like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I don't use this one anymore just because I find it's too large to like throw in my purse, so I like the smaller size better. But um, I do have a coupon code in my description box. I don't get any money back from it or anything. It's just I asked her um, if she would give me one to share it with my viewers. And so I actually even use my own coupon code when I order <laughs> my replacements. So um, this is the one I have currently. She changes the covers out, and so this particular design may not always be available, but um, she has different ones. So this week on Saturday, we actually had um, takeout. We ordered Asian food for delivery and had that. Um, Sunday, we have the barbecue pork that Adam is making with buns, and then um, I'm making some coleslaw and pasta salad, and I will link my coleslaw recipe down below. The pasta salad is just going to be with that suddenly salad mix. And then I'm going to make um, Reuben dip, which I'll also link that recipe down below. It's really good with the rye triscuits. And then I bought some chips for the kids and fruit salad, and then our friends are bringing a dessert. Uh, Monday, I am making some Cajun pork tenderloin. Here, let me show you the recipe. So this is actually the recipe that I'm using for that. Um, this week is a little bit different because I did get a Green Chef delivery because I'm doing a, um, a sponsored video with them. And so I get when I get orders with them, I typically get the full box, which is three meals. And then I use one meal for the video that I'm making for them um, or incorporating that into. And then obviously we have the extra food. And so I think I'm going to make this on Monday. It's the Cajun pork tenderloin with creamy cauliflower rice with charred bell pepper and white cheddar. I don't know that the kids will eat that cauliflower with the chard, um, but they probably will eat the tenderloin. So I'll probably just make like maybe some um, lima beans on the side for them. And I have leftover rice in the fridge if they don't like the cauliflower rice. Uh, Tuesday, actually, Adam and I are going to a Cajun cook-off um, here in town at the hotel. Um, Adam got tickets to that, so we are excited to go to that. Wednesday night, I have a class to attend, and so I will not be home after work. And so I just have down chicken nuggets with tater tots and corn. I believe we have some in the freezer. Let's see. Yeah, we have popcorn chicken in here and some um, tater tots that they can have. Um, I just write that down as a placeholder. That way Adam doesn't have to think about it if it's something he wants to do. Sometimes he ends up taking the kids out to eat. They'll go to Wendy's or Culver's or maybe they'll order pizza. So I don't know, it's up to him, but I just put that there in case he needs something to make. And then Thursday, I'm planning on making some Chipotle chicken rice bowls. So I'm going to do chicken in the crock pot, like a salsa chicken. And then I have this leftover brown rice that I cooked at the end of last week. So it's still good. So I'll probably take that, mix it with some, um, lime cilantro. I have black beans in the pantry and then, um, we'll just have, you know, rice bowls with chicken and sour cream and all that stuff. Sorry, I'm unloading my dishwasher right now. <laughs> And then uh, Friday, we either always go out or have pizza um, because by the end of the week, I'm done and I am not cooking. So I had a request to film or show or share with you guys what I what all I cooked from my pantry this month. If you've been following along with this little series, I did a pantry reorganization and inventory at the beginning of the month. So I'll link those videos down below. And then basically all month I've been trying to plan my meals around what I had in my freezer and pantry. So I'll just go through here and share what we have made. So I did make pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, um, almond butter muffins, oatmeal cookies, and then I did make eggs benedict last weekend for breakfast. Um, under the lunches section, I did make some tuna salad. Um, I made tabbouleh, the rest of this stuff I didn't do. I did make the cheesy potatoes. I did not put ham in them, but um, we had cheesy potatoes the other night for dinner as a side. I made the Southwest Fiesta soup, the beef tacos, the baked garlic parmesan chicken, beef fillets, pork chops, turkey stroganoff, meatballs, turkey with gravy and mashed potatoes, tortellini, jambalaya, and Park City stew. So you can see that I still have like a lot of stuff left. 
um, to make off of this list. So I'll probably continue to pull from that even into March um, just because it's been helping me use up what I have in the freezer. And like I showed you guys, I did use down quite a bit of it. So that is gonna wrap it up for this week's grocery haul and meal plan. Um, I did scan my fetch rewards and my Ibotta and I believe I got almost like $10 off with fetch with all the stuff I bought at Walmart. So don't forget to check that out if you haven't already. Um, there's no catch. You don't have to put your debit card in or anything. You can scan any receipt. It's pretty awesome. So um, thanks for watching and following along with me this month on my pantry and freezer challenge. If you guys have any requests for videos for March or challenges that you would like me to do, leave them down below and I will see you next time. Bye.